I just got done recording my last episode, and I told myself, all right, I'm about to get a lot of work done. But then I thought to myself, why on earth wouldn't you record it? I'm so bad at that, like I want to work on something, so I expect to do a lot and then update you, but why not just make an episode out of working on this? Ah! But yeah, welcome back. We are here working on our new building, and I'm making some smoke I missed again. Ah, and I'm making some smokestacks here, some interesting ones. I'm trying to add in the color green, see how this looks. What is that? Oh, the lava pit down there. It looks like a scary forest. Something about working up high and looking down on like this taiga is so relaxing, especially with these RTX shaders on. I don't know how long I'm gonna, maybe I could go all episode using this. That'd be an interesting way to do this episode. Okay, we got this ring layer now. Oh, this is gonna be difficult. I need to put buttons on these wood planks. Seems weird, but detail matters. No, I'm gonna run out of these blocks. Can you craft these? I wonder if you can. You can't craft, oh. Then how do I get these? Do I have to go to an ocean monument? I'm about to be so mad. <laughs> oh, you hear that? I didn't know these had their own unique walking sounds too. Most wood types they add to the game now have their own unique sounds, that's cool. Oh, I do have some more, yes. Hold your horses. Where is my stuff? Right down here. You can grab prismarine shards and ink sacks? No way, this is a thing. Of course, all my prismarine shards are out at the Guardian Farm. Whoa. Now that I think of it, I have not been out here yet with RTX. Ah, oh, it's a good day. Wow, look at that sunrise. Now if we go down here, whoa! Oh! Sorry guys, I'll get back home in a second. I gotta do a little bit of training. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! I'll leave anything useful out here. Lots of snow. That would've come in handy. I came out here is because my guardian farm still doesn't have a working portal at it. My portal is set up at the farm, but the portal never appears in the nether, so it's only a one-way trip. There she blows. Don't you worry, guys. Eventually, we're going to come out here and make an amazing base. Probably like an oil rig of some sort. It's just I have to be in the mood for it. Right now, I want to do some other things. All right. Oh my gosh. Look at all this prismarine. See, here's my portal, but if we go in it, it always drops me right here with no portal. Okay, huge complaint, Minecraft. It takes one whole stack, one whole stack of ink sacks to make one stack of dark prismarine. Y'all gotta fix that. That's messed up. Okay, we got all this made. Oh man, you get vertigo way easier with RTX on too. <laughs> Seems more real. Can I make this jump? <laughs> I have a dilemma. Bob, come here. Do you have andesite? No. What the? I am all out of andesite. How long have I been playing in this world? I'm reaching a decade soon. And this world had andesite in it when we started it. And I can't find any. Oh. Oh, I know a place. That's right. Forgot I dug all this out. There has to be lo Oh my, okay. There's lots of, okay, yeah. I'm, I'm seeing it, oh yeah. Oh, lots of andesite. All right, as you can see, work continues at one o'clock at night. I gotta be up at six, tell my grandpa till a garden, so I should probably go to bed. <laughs> but as you can see, I put the number two here. I just now realize, why not? I have the number one there. I should start numbering the industrial buildings that are tied to the lab, so. Ooh, got an acacia wood under there. 
So yeah, I think this will be a good idea. I'm gonna put my same effect under here to make it look like it is just, you know, old. I gotta do it in a lot more places too. This building is big. Let's take a look at it from here. Oh yes. <laughs> so as you can see, uh, I completely <laughs> got rid of the green up here. So we did all that for nothing. Um, but it just looked out of place. Like, I want this building to look cold, like, and scary. And green just added too much color to it, so I just got polished basalt and deep slate. Just that's how I did it right there. Adding in some designs, like some support beams on the sides right here. But I'm about to start working and finishing this right here. I'm thinking on top of this part, I'm also going to put some small skinny smokestacks. But good lord, look how big <laughs> this building is. It's so huge. I'm going to have to start terraforming the land under it, such as this building I'm next to as well, because they're starting to look like, just like out of place without having the land under them terraformed with some sort of base they can sit on, because they just look like they're plopped in a random Minecraft world, you know? All right, iron worker. Dallas here. <laughs> I'm beginning to work on the inside. Um, I've, I've done quite a bit, I will say that. The thing that's most time consuming is I'm layering all the inside too, so I'm mainly using stone so we can go back through and design this stone however we want. Um, and I also made, I guess, the nuclear fission area where the rods are. Um, this is my own concept. I'm not making this exactly how a power plant should look because this definitely isn't it, but I thought I wanted to design it in a way where the rods are all pushed up and maybe they're working on it or trying to figure out what happened. Yeah, I really like the way this looks. So I'm beginning to add in some pipe systems. These are going to go all the way to the main chimney and I'm beginning to, as you can see, run all kinds of beams across the top just to give it that structured look. Boy, but this is taking a while. I think the outside though, what I don't remember what I showed you last on here, but I'm just doing little tiny things here and there. I'm getting to work on this wall. I'm mimicking this window. Um, but yeah, this is a very time consuming build. So I'm gonna get back to work. Okay, work continues on this godforsaken place. I guess this is gonna be another whole episode here. At least you guys don't mind. Hope you don't mind, <laughs> I should say. Why the lime green? I don't know if I'm gonna keep that colored glass there, but I know when the sun's rising over this way, it looks really good. Um, all this skylight's not gonna be here, but as you can see, this whole section of the building is all gonna be the offices and where a lot of technical stuff goes down. It's gonna be dark in here because I- oh god. Don't have lights in here yet, so perhaps I should have took in these off for now. I'm still working over here, but I got this. Got lights in here. This is a little office section, but I got a staircase going up this way. Looks kind of bad with these RTX, not gonna lie. This is gonna be a viewing window for this area over here, and I also have a staircase going up this way. This is just... I was building this all without RTX, so that's why it looks a little weird right now. Um, but yeah, I transitioned it up to light gray terracotta. This was white terracotta. And now I'm trying to figure out some window designs because I have this really awkward crack going up through here. So I'm assuming I'm just going to do something like this. Does this look weird? No, oh, that's not too bad. Let me wait for the sun to rise. Whoa, this looks pretty crazy. We have all this room up here left too. I'm going to do one more floor up at the top. All I wanted to do is to see what the sun looked like shining through. Yeah, oh, look at that. I think that'll look good. I want very minimal windows in this building, and I think this will look great. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that looks cool. Right here, I was originally going to plan on putting some sort of statue, but I don't think it would fit in here very well. Probably gonna put some computer monitors over this way. Oh my god. God, I have been working on this literally all day. This thing just never ends. I feel like I pour so much. You do have no idea how many resources I've been throwing into this. So this part is basically done on the end. Ugh, wait, no, it's not. There's still so much more. Um, okay, but yeah. <laughs> um, in here, I'm still trying to figure out what I want this to look like. This place is pretty massive. But um, as you can see, we got a couple viewing windows up here. Don't know what to put here or here. Still gotta go through and texture all this as well. It's just never ending. Over here, don't know what to do with this either, but if we go up top, I think I've already showed you most of this, but in that RTX, 
just doesn't look as good in here with RTX. But um, yeah, I think I'm gonna keep it relatively empty. Just like, oh yeah, I need to put some monitors in here. Ooh, I need a big control room with all my map art. That's what we're going to do next. When we run up this way, I got a like a meeting room. I got some of these. Plop these right here. Also got some glass for this window. I was going to put a light switch in here because I have a lot of room in between each floors, but I didn't make this wall thick enough, and I don't want to put the light switch over there. Can't put it there, so just going to put those in there for now. Um, could do something right on this floor. The windows are very awkward. You've already seen these, but they're all right. I love this one, though, because it follows the staircase, and I didn't even mean for this to happen. It just worked out this way. But this leads up to the main floor of the boss who runs this place, which... Well, technically me, but I hire I hire people, which I'm going to bring a villager up here. One of you guys, village donators, and this is the main office for them. This one, I did add a light switch. <laughs> and if you couldn't tell already, I'm going for a very, almost like 60s or 70s feel in this whole place. Kind of want to see this in RTX, to be honest. Ooh, it's dark in here. I wonder what this would look like. Ooh. I liked the way those lights turned on. Did you see that? Oh, look at this. Look at this room. Oh, forgot there's reflections. Okay, the off sequence is a little odd, but things can't be perfect. I just want to see the sun shine in here and see how good. Oh my God, it looks just as good as I thought it would. Oh, can this be my office? Oh, man. Oh, look at that. Imagine sitting here just smoking a cigar. You got a whiskey neat. Oh my gosh, you walk up to the window, you realize something blew up. <laughs> no. Oh, uh, you gotta admit though, that, that just makes a vibe in here, for real. I like the minimal windows in this place too. Ooh, I like the lighting this is giving off. Ooh yeah, more god rays. <laughs> I, I'll never get over RTX. Yeah, I'll never get over RTX, this place is apparently haunted. How does this look? Oh, that looks so cool with that yellow light shining in. I think I'm just gonna leave these big doors open, to be honest. I like the way it looks for some reason. It just looks dark and ominous that you can just walk in. So I am starting to add in some more damage everywhere. I got the ceilings and roofs on, but now I am working on this bit. Yeah, it's still empty right here because this is just all plain back here. I gotta figure out how to make this look good. My bad. I noticed in the last clip, my voice gets kind of muffled sometimes. My mic with my new mic settings. Ever since I got this new computer, if my mic is not right up next to my mouth, I'll sound muffled, kind of like a little bit further away. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm still adding so much detail into this place. It's nuts. Um, so as you can see, just a spite, look how much these pipes spice up the back. This much, got a big pipe and three little pipes, but look at it. It just adds so much. I'm adding a big glob right here. I don't know what this stuff is. I'm, I'm pretending it's just like, it's not a liquid or not. I guess it's just like rust. This building's old. Love the sound of these bone blocks. So, well, I don't know if you caught this, if you pay attention to my tools, but I made a shovel called the backhoe and it is another mending tool because when I was clearing out this mountain, I usually only use these mending picks so I don't burn through these and fill up my museum very fast. And I only have one mending pickaxe and I don't have a mending shovel, so these are my burning tools. So if I need to clear out a very large space. Honestly, see these areas right here? Even this, like this whole area. I can even make like a secret room in here. I was thinking about doing that earlier as if whatever mad scientist is still running this place is gonna make it look like he has like a secret entrance. Maybe he runs his own experiments in here. All right, um, how do I get out of here? Down here? No. Down here. Ah, uh, what the? Hello? But anyway, time to, oh God, you scared me. Time to update you again. Um. What did I do? Oh, okay, so I added this. This is the exact same color palette 
as this, but on the wall, so maybe it's just a diagram showing that of some sort. I added a fan there. I really need to get up there, but I, be I didn't want to get up there. So I added in some of my computer screens, as I said I would. So we got the blue and black screens down here, but I also added some more up here. These are the black and green ones. And then got a few computers right here. Put up a map. What'd I do up here? Put up another map. Uh, was that already there? Castle? <laughs> and then in here, what else did I do? I just added a bookshelf in here with, uh, some books on it. Like Atomic Awakening. What else we got? Nuclear Energy Now. Infusion Energy. Wow. Save on the electricity. Oh, no. That's what I forgot. I just went around the whole building, added in all these splotches, and I didn't realize I forgot to pepper in these slabs. All throughout, ah, oh, you heard me. Dang it, why don't you do it? Huh, you even have any good trades? No, kind of. I like gunpowder and I like the ferns. Good job. How does that look? All right, I'm mainly happy because as some area up there, I use slabs, so it's letting in a little bit of light. I like how these pipes slowly go up there just to make it look like it filters out. Now here's a small tip I'm about to show you. Right in here I've been struggling what to come up with around here and I saw this grass and I'm like, you know what? I might just replace the grass with mycelium. So this is a great example. Sometimes you need to just take inspiration from the environment. Well, for example, I'm gonna customize a tiny bit like back here, add in some stone. But what I'm saying, this mycelium is going to look like, since it has particle effects and it looks a little icky, it just looks like it's whatever's oozing out of this. Oh yeah, that doesn't look too bad. I like that. I am finished. I think. It's a big I think. I am so happy to say that. I I absolutely love this build, don't get me wrong, but I spent too much time on it. I'm ready to go do something else. Not in this episode, though, but I... <laughs> there it is. There's the final product. I think I got everything done. The only thing I don't have done is I still got to get a scientist up in his office, but I got to create an elevator for that, so I just don't want to do that today. Got it all detailed back here, looking nice. If we head in here, I did... Oh, it's probably going to be dark because I got RTX on no oh, no it's perfect oh my god I love that yellow light um, as you can see just added in some more details got some computers here ooh I like the way those look just got some more different types of machines and um, added something else here maybe this is where some power is transferred from that who knows but if we head over this way, not much is changing here. I just fixed up this area, add an empty room here. Never know, maybe one day I'll want to come here and add something. Now, my original purpose of this place was, believe it or not, to make my, my first creeper farm. But that idea completely escaped my head once I started building this. So the next brutalism style build we're going to make. Wow, look at this up here. I love this. Yeah, the next brutalism build we're going to make, we're going to make a creeper farm and then build the build around that. Because I want these builds to start having a purpose. This right here, all the resources and time I've spent on this, this has zero purpose to my world <laughs> other than to look good. We need to start throwing farms in these, kind of like what most people actually do with these big builds. And I tried to take you along building this with me, and I know you guys will probably be like, you still cut out so much, but that's the thing. If I recorded me placing blocks, I I just can't talk and do that at the same time. Like, I could have placed each block at this place and recorded it and made an hour-long video, but at that point, I should probably just stream because I don't want to sit there and just leave footage in of me placing blocks and not talking. That's just not my video style, guys. I'm sorry. But while we're here, let's go ahead and end it with the common question of the day from the Ark Inn. Or Arch Inn. Would you rather experience a game that you love again for the first time, or have your favorite game get a DLC? This is a great question, because as I was thinking about it, as you, a lot of you may know, my favorite game of all time is The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. But I thought, if I were to experience that for the first time again, it would feel 
pretty nice because I remember my first experience with it. Uh, it was really wonderful, but I was not that good at it. I was playing on the easiest difficulty. I didn't know anything about potions or mutagens or anything like that. But I was going through that process of exploring the game. But now that I know every little thing there is to know about the game, I feel actually like a witcher in that game, you know? You you know your monsters, you know what oils you need to use, you know what you need to brew, you know what oils to put on your sword. And I play on Death March difficulty and I approach things in my own way. And I love that feeling about games, when you know what you're doing, but it's still difficult. So I would actually choose The Witcher 3, but get an expansion, because the expansions for that game are on another level. I mean, Blood and Wine, for example, added a whole other continent to the game with another whole storyline. It could have been a game of its own. I mean, it's like a whole castle being taken over by vampires and <laughs> you go and solve the issue of the Beast of Beauclair. It's so cool. Now, I'm here because, as you know, we lost our brown bed. I hate picking beds that match my inventory. I'm always looking for this and I can't see it. I'm gonna use a classic red bed. You know what's funny? I think this bed is super old. This is one of like the first beds I made in this world. <laughs> so it's fitting to use, even though I'd still prefer to find my brown bed, but I think I let it despawn somewhere sitting on the ground. Sad day. Well, everybody, I don't think there's much else I want to do. I'm going to go ahead and end this one here. So uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. I'll try to change things up, but if I'm still feeling the brutalism style, we might even start on the creeper farm, so... Because God knows I need it. <laughs> see you guys there. Bye-bye.